Good morning, everyone. Pastor Coy Roland here with the Yorksville First Midvale and Newport Global Methodist Church bringing you a devotional today in our People of God series with today being Barnabas. No, not my the name of my dog you might see on this video every once in a while, but one of the church fathers. Barnabas is known as the son of encouragement. He lived in the first century AD. His, na his, his given name was Joseph, and he was recruited by Paul for ministry. You can read his story in Acts 11, 19 to 26, and also Acts 13, 1 through 5. And in verse 2 of Acts 13, it says, One day these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting, and the Holy Spirit said, Dedicate Barnabas and Saul for the special work to which I have given them. So after more fasting and prayer, the, man, the men laid their hands on them and sent them on their way. Two elderly men, it says, as our devotional thought, shared a hospital room, one by, one, one by the window and the other by the far wall. Daily, the one would describe what he saw out the window. Children playing in the park, lovers walking hand in hand, swans on the lake. One day, the man beside the window died. The other man asked the nurse to push his bed near the window. Propping himself up on one elbow, he looked out and all he saw was a flat roof of the hospital building next to him. All these days, his friend had been describing beautiful things to encourage him. In the early church, Barnabas would have been the friend by the window. He was an encourager, a Levite from the island of Cyprus. Barnabas's given name was Joseph, but everybody called him by his nickname Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Barnabas sold some land he owned and gave the money to the Jerusalem apostles or to the Jerusalem apostles to help the poor of the church. Later, when the church at Antioch needed a teacher, Barnabas journeyed there to instruct them in the word. But when the task proved too great that this one man could handle, he went to Tarsus to recruit some help. The man named Barnabas, recruited for ministry, changed the face of the church. His name was Paul. Are there people in your family, your church, your neighborhood, your office who needs encouragement today? Who will they turn to if not you? People crave encouragement. Strengthen them with your wisdom. Sustain them with your prayers. Stimulate them with your encouragement. Be the man by the window for those around you. You know, in the church, there are so many people hurting, so many people who need some kind of encouragement. And something as simple as a card or a, a phone call or a text message can do great things to encourage them. So remember that today. Amen.